you've got history, of course, you were in Hollyoaks as well, but apparently used to deliver people's online shopping. Yeah, that's correct. Um, I was at Hollyoaks for six and a half years, um, a great six and a half years as well. And then in between work, um, yeah, I started doing door-to-door -door deliveries. Wow, and what would yeah. people think then when you turned up? I had a few Hollywood funny responses. Star, <laughs> what did they say to you? Well, I had a mortgage to pay, you know. I mean, I've always had a work ethic as well, um, so there's no shame in that whatsoever. But I had a few, a few funny responses from a few of the people that I was delivering parcels to. Um, <laughs> and they, and they like, went, oh, you on TV? Uh, yeah, exactly, yeah. Go yeah, from, so. um, what are people's complaints when you turn up with the online shopping? Do people keep saying, I asked for it without bags? <laughs> or, oh, I didn't want the broccoli, I wanted I the sausages. I stuff it through the door, to be honest with you. I was never really, <laughs> never really stuck around too long. What's the reaction from people though when you know if they see you on the street or something? Do you do you get any people yelling at you saying, "Oh, you're you know such a bad boy" or "You're so nasty"? Sometimes a few people say things, but it's all kind of it's light-hearted and it's all positive for the for the majority of it. Um, I mean, no one's ever kind of come up to me. Well, I, I don't know, maybe I'm tempting fate here, <laughs> but no one's ever come up to me and attacked me in the yeah. street, uh, and I hope they don't. But um, but yeah, everyone's everyone's very very supportive and very complimentary usually. So yeah. We've been talking about messy teenage bedrooms this morning. Are you <laughs> quite good? Because I bet those dressing rooms, there's so much going on. It's so busy, isn't it? Yeah, I'm actually Who's in the dressing the room. I'm, I'm in the dressing room with all the young guys. So Kelvin Fletcher, Danny Miller, um, uh, Joe Gill, Mike Parr. Um, it is a bit untidy from time to time, and there are certain people who have a very untidy desk. I can't say names because I will get punished for it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but you a few don't pranksters think, as well. You don't so, think yeah. you're the worst? Oh, no. Well, actually, I looked at my, my dressing room yesterday, my table, and it does look like it could do with a clean, yeah. Does it? Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> How's Eric going to cope? Will he go back to his bad old ways, do you think? Would you like to see him? Yeah, go a bit of the baddie. Go down that side again. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, because I quite like, although I loved when he was naughty, Oh, when I would, you know, I'd, I'd switch the box on just to see if a, 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 the scene had worked out, whatever. And I'm killing myself laughing because <laughs> he's done such terrible things and got away with it. Yeah. So uh, now all of a sudden, ah. <laughs> are you feeling emotional? You are. Oh. It's been an extraordinary journey, though, hasn't it? And we still love watching him. I'd quite like to oh. see him go back. To being yeah. uh, the, the the naughty yeah it's Eric. a bit you know um, the, the the scoundrel they wrote uh, a, a lot of stuff which which Pollard would have been up to uh, for Valerie um, and although that was good I'm thinking they've turned him into a wimp. Yeah. And he's not a wimp. No, he's got a backbone. Yeah. Chris, is it just because your whole life has been Eric? I mean, is that what's making you feel? Whole life. Emotional. I mean, you know, your whole acting up. Where does the tears come from? What's that? Oh, uh, I think it's called a tear stick or something. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they, they, OK. There's that kiss uh, on Brookside, mm. that is an iconic kiss that, uh, that, that has uh, sort of stayed with you throughout your career, really, <laughs> even, even at the time when, I mean, to think that they even showed it, didn't they, before the Olympics? Isn't it nice? And Five then... billion people worldwide saw that moment. Saw mm. girls kissing. Yes. And, <laughs> I, and like, I, it's, it's extraordinary that, I mean, I don't know, what year was that, sort of I mean, early no, 2000, no, 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 no. late, late 1990s, <laughs> something? In the early 90s. In the early 90s. <laughs> so, well, well, we're, so we're talking sort of 25 20 years, years yeah, later. Yeah, it's like 20 years ago, yeah. You're, it's still there and it's still held up as a moment in TV history. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it's incredible. really nice. And we, we, wouldn't have, we wouldn't have thought that no. at the time when we were doing it. You know, it was good fun and everything, but it's, yeah, it's astonishing to think that people still talk about it. Yeah. And how does Kissing Paddy compare? He doesn't like kissing me. What? He, I don't think he likes it. I mean, I, I, I'm not bothered. I'll kiss anybody, <laughs> quite frankly, you know. The crew suddenly perked up, then. <laughs> if the part calls for it. Is that because but you do a lot of drama, so you've ended up having quite racy parts in the part? Yes, I may be. But he's, he's such a gentleman, Dominic, who plays Paddy. He's lo absolutely joyous to work with. He's lovely. And he's very much a gentleman. So he always wants to, he just, we'll only kiss me, you know, on the take. And, and just the uh, one take. What's wrong with me? <laughs> oh, oh, why you kiss me? You enjoy playing the villain, don't yeah. you? I mean, what is it for an actor about being the villain that gives you, you said empowers you? I think it's because she has, she doesn't have a filter and that's really fun to play. Mm. Um, I think especially if you go through life with a big one like mine and you're very careful about what you say to people, it, to be able to say what you like <laughs> and not oh, care yeah. about repercussions of what people think of you is really fun. And it seems to me the writers are having a lot of fun with it as well. 
um, embellishing it and playing with her. So yeah. the, everybody's enjoying her character at the moment, and I think. What is there in the response to this storyline? Because it's, uh, you know, I mean, as it's complicated. Well, it's yeah. controversial. Very controversial. I mean, it's quite huge. You've got two older gay men um, who were obviously... Uh, in, in the 60s, it was illegal to be gay. Mm -hmm. yeah. And in the case of uh, Lawrence's character, yeah, yeah. he had uh, aversion therapy to, to try and stop him being gay, which is quite barbaric when you think back to it. So it's, it's quite a, a really good, good storyline. It shows how times have changed, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. the, this storyline can run now, and no one is thinking bad things. They're all thinking, oh, what a fascinating mm -hmm. romantic triangle. Mm -hmm. it, Britain's changed. Of course it has, yeah. I mean, but it, what it's caused this character as well is uh, it's caused this total confusion of his sexuality. Mm -hmm. and, and Ronnie, my character, is not coming in to out him to say you should come out and tell everyone you're gay. It's just to recognise that's what you are. And because of what you've been through, the, the traumatic uh, aversion therapy, then you should just talk about Have it. Have you become a, a gay pin-up now? Uh, I don't know, but uh, I, believe, <laughs> I believe a friend of mine works in China and there's a gay club in Shanghai thinking Ronnie and Lawrence are pin up. Really? Me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's never going to run smooth, is it? It's a soap wedding. It's it's a soap of course wedding. it's not going to run smooth. It's a soap wedding, but it's a relationship that's had its ups and downs and had its traumas and its hurdles along the way. Yeah, absolutely. It's a. It's been a great kind of love story, but throughout David's cancer, we, we didn't want to dwell on the on the cancer too much, so the love story between David and Tracy came through that and kind of blossoms at the end. Roxana, who plays um, Layla, um, when I first had it all shaved off, she said, oh, you remind me of someone. You remind me of someone off a film. And I thought she was going to say, like, Bruce Willis or somebody, yeah. more, somebody cool. And she went, who is it? Gollum. You look like Gollum. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, brilliant. Thanks for that. Nothing like your mate. Do <laughs> <laughs> they look great, don't they're they? They're great. They haven't changed the shot. Still very much on terra firma. The film is out on Thursday. Kingsman Secret Service. <laughs> Let's hear it for the Spanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I'm desperate for money because the director wants bubble wrap. Oh, God. <laughs>